Hello everyone. So today in this video I will be telling you how to clean and lube your chain and this you have to do it every 500 kilometers. So let's start. So the things that you will need is a chain lube, a chain cleaner, brushes and a rag for cleaning the chain. Instead of a chain cleaner you can also use a kerosene but instead of a chain lube we can't use simple oil because that will get off your chain very easily. So the chain loop that I'm using is Glossal. Chain cleaner is from 3M. You can also use from Motel ones and other companies. They are also good. So as you can see, my chain is really dirty. So let's start the procedure. Let the chain cleaner sit for some time so that it can do its work and after that my chain is really dirty so I will brush it so that all the dirt gets off the surface. Now take some chain cleaner on your brush. And start brushing the chain. Brush it from all the sides. Also clean your sprocket at the same time while cleaning your chain. And also the sprocket teeth. Now my chain is really dirty so I have to first get it washed with water and if your chain is not really dirty so you can skip this step. Now take your bike for a quick spin. What this will do is take off all the material that is there on the chain and also the water that we just put and will make us a little easier for drying the chain. Now take the rag and start wiping the chain off to remove anything that's still there. Do 
do this step really nicely because this is the step that will affect your chain looping. Also clean your sprocket uh, with this bag only. Clean this also at the same time. So you can see now how clean the chain is. So the next step is looping the chain. So the place where you have to spray the chain loop is these linkages. You don't have to spray it in between or here. You have to spray here where the rollers and the side plate meet. Because this is the place where lubrication is required. Otherwise the chain is self lubricated from inside. And we are just looping the chain to reduce friction from here and also to keep the seals inside moisturous and happy. Now the last step is to remove the excess chain loop. Do this gently. Only we have to remove the excess. Now let the chain loop sit for some time so that all the alcohol kind of things in it dries off and only the loop is now on your chain so that it sticks on your chain. So let it dry for some time around 30 minutes and then you can ride your bike so that was for the chain cleaning and lubing by chance if you have a paddock stand do not put your bike in first gear because first of all it's your safety and secondly the chain will bounce a lot so you will not be able to do anything on it and for buying all these things i will post a link in the description so that you can buy and thanks to my friend shivan who helped me a lot because if you don't have a paddock stand, a friend is really helpful. So after this, you can also wash your bike. So I will post a video for that also. So signing off, please like the video, subscribe and comment. Thank you.